Yes, it started with the government asking me to do something in a conflict. It was very serious because you have this harsh Dutch NGOs criticizing the rest of the world. And in this particular case, they went that far that they criticized the directors of a company in India to that extent that they didn't accept that ever anymore there in India. So they went to the judge in the court in India, and the result was that the judges in India said, the Dutch guys are wrong. They have to stop immediately, and afterwards, otherwise, we are going to put them in jail. So this was a shocking experience for the Dutch government. They said, what is happening here? We always thought we do the best for the whole world, and now we come in this sort of problems. So then I was asked by the Dutch government, do you see a solution? And you said it already. Now the first thing I said, I have to say here, I cannot do this on my own. I've built up a good working relationship with Tine Calamboy, so please allow me to use her in this case. And the second, then we sat together, and I said, you are very smart on comparing the law systems, but maybe we need the framework of the Earth Charter. I was happy to have a friend in India. His name is Ashok Koshla. He's an Earth Charter man as well. And by the way, when it just was spoken beautifully about the success in IUCN, I thought, ah, this is my friend Ashok Koshla, IUCN. So I made a call to Ashok and said, this is the problem. I'm trying to find a solution, and I want to base it on the Earth Charter. So the first question I ask the people who fight each other, do you accept mediation from me? But I'll do that only if you earn the right to accept the Earth Charter as the basis of our way forward together. So this was the beginning. And then it went further because we said the wisdom is not in the Netherlands. It has to be in India. So then we found this judge in India. So the mediator, Ruth Lubbers, went very quickly off the stage. And we could put it there. So it was a tremendous success. It is also an example that if you're really committed to overcome a conflict, there are possibilities. And you, with your knowledge of law, I found it a joy here to work together, and it ended without a conflict. We are still trying to make the best out of that. It will be too long, but it was good. Uh, we did that together. But I have still one additional <laughs> question to you. Um, it always struck me, I spoke as you as a lady of law, that you have such an interest in the biodiversity. What is the connection between law and biodiversity? Um, I have uh, indeed an interest in diversity, both people-wise and biodiversity. I really, really like traveling. I've traveled many countries in the world and done the things that Thumbs Up is going to do in Africa, go into labor places, ask the girls, how is it to work here, stuff like that, uh, everywhere. I also like to hear the different stories of people in villages, in cities, taxi drivers. So I like the diversity, the different stories that are around in this world, because I don't know, just because it's interesting. <laughs> and uh, um, the biodiversity is a thing that I also um, cherish a lot because I love to be in nature. I, I just enjoy being in nature, and I value the the existence of nature, like uh, Princess Irene said. And I've also had the opportunity to be connected to that when I was young. And I, I kept on looking for that also in all those countries that I traveled. And I also asked, since I was a child myself, the question, why does nature have to disappear? Because that's what you see everywhere. So that was one of the reasons of deciding to, to go and study law, to see what can law mean in protecting nature or setting the standards for people, how they can use nature without destroying it. So there comes the biodiversity. <laughs> and actually now, since five years, I'm working um, at uh, Nairo, the Business University in the Center for Sustainability. 
And uh, the research group that I'm heading is called Sustainable Law and Governance. And what we do is we look how we work together with governments, we work together with companies and with NGOs, with IUCN, for instance, with WWF. We look in which way companies can contribute to nature, nature conservation, for instance, by investing in sustainable forestry or investing in renewable energy or in forest carbon. So there comes the, the legal path and crosses the interest for nature. And that's, I think, also what you see in the Earth Charter, where diversity, both human diversity and biodiversity, is really uh, cherished. It's really appreciated. I think you have even visited more countries than I have. <laughs>